Good evening and welcome to the second public performance of Vijay Gupta's 2023 year-long residency with Music Worcester. My name is Adrian Finley, I'm the executive director here at Music Worcester and I just wanted to thank you all for joining us, everyone here in the room and everyone joining from afar. We are streaming this concert this evening to several locations and one of them is the Worcester County House of Corrections, and we will be hearing much more about that this evening throughout the program. I do want to acknowledge several individuals without whom tonight would not be possible. First and foremost, the Director of Opportunity, Melissa Marteros. Also, Worcester County Sheriff Lou Evangelitis, thank you for being here. We will hear from you later this evening. And joining us from the Worcester County House of Corrections, one town away, Superintendent David Tuttle, thank you also for directing operations there. I just want to say also a few words about Music Worcester's Artist in Residency program before I hand tonight over to Vijay Gupta and his guests. We established this program several years ago and the inaugural artist in residence was pianist Simona Dinnerstein. Our goal with the artist in residence program is to really give of Music Worcester over to a musician with vision and with Vijay, we have that and more. He has really challenged us here at Music Worcester to take a very expanded vision expanded vision of music, expanded vision of what concerts can be, expanded vision of what a concert presentation can be, who should be in the room, where concerts may be, what is music making, and who should be in the audience, and really, what is audience, and we are most appreciative of that. So I hope that you will join us again for our upcoming performances, both of this residency and in general. We will be very shortly announcing two more performances with VJ, one in September and one in November, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Forgiveness, not the song, but the way in which we sing. Heart beats in a riblish cage, on stage with news to bring, saddened by the birds. My grief, my shadow stalking me. I force an earthly grin. Regret is not goodbye, replied, when the violin. <laughs>
folded empty sheets of white, so bright, a form that's ever formless light, shaping things without me, to cry and cry and cry again, said the violin. Speak, speak, and dance amidst the grief. Be frozen in momentum, joyful, cleansing, hopeless fire, burning off my sin. Speak and dance and freeze that fire, said the violin.
For English, press one. For a collect call, press one. Please enter your PIN number now. All right, MSA number 0653258. Come on. Come on, answer. Come on, God, answer. God, come on. Answer, God. Answer. God. Answer. Secure us.
when the violin can forgive the past, it starts singing. When the violin can stop worrying about the future, you will become such a drunk, laughing nuisance that God will lean down and start combing you into his hair. When the violin can forgive every wound caused by others, the heart starts singing.
Good evening, everybody. I'm sure a flu evangelitis, I will, uh, I'll let you know I'm six feet seven inches tall. But I'm a little taller when I'm up on this stage, all right? So uh, thank you for that round of applause for me being tall. But I would like to say if we could have a round of applause for what we've already experienced today, because that is incredible. And thank them so much. VJ Yamina and John Cormier, I'll have a few things to say about, but I'd just like to say it's been an incredible honor to serve as your sheriff for the last 13 years. And in that time, we've created a lot of programs. Uh, we have a, for example, we have a farm or an organic farm program that we, we do to help people in this community who have needs for food insecurity. And we also have other programs like a dog program, multiple dog programs, and, and there are and a culinary programs but when we had the opportunity to actually implement the Opportunity Program, the music program through Melissa and my superintendent Dave Tuttle, it was as good a program as we've ever had up at that jail. And what we do through this Opportunity Program, as well as the other programs, is we teach people the ability to be rehabilitated through music, to express themselves. It's mental health, it gives them opportunity to express themselves, yes, and it really is something to behold. So you can imagine how overwhelmed it is. Like I was thinking of John Cormier up here and I was gonna to say to John if he was here to paraphrase um, Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. I was gonna to say to John, John, we're, we're not at the House of Correction anymore. <laughs> We've come a long way, and this guy particularly. So I just wanna say that when I have this chance to have this job and to have this opportunity to help change people's lives, it's such a blessing. And then when you find out about Music Worcester is having VJ come in uh, to perform and, and, and participate in our Worcester community, and I get a phone call as sheriff asking if we would be interested in having VJ bring his program inside the four walls of the Worcester County Jail and House of Correction, I can't tell you how that's a phone call you never forget. You don't forget that, thank you. So, you know the work he's doing. I've seen it firsthand. He comes inside the facility. One of the first lessons I saw him teach, he talked to the inmates at the facility, those who had the opportunity to be in this program. They have to earn their way into this program and they have to participate in this program and you watch them grow. But can you imagine them hearing from VJ telling him about Bach himself, the life Bach had, which I didn't realize what a challenging life he had and how he actually had trouble supporting his family and actually spent some time incarcerated. These are things none of us ever knew, but it was a way that VJ brings to this program to reach out and help change people in the sense of humanity. So I have been blessed to have this program at the facility. As you'll hear tonight, this is our portion of the, of the show where we get to show you some of the work we're doing up there. So uh, this tonight, you're gonna see the Opportunity Program in action, uh, Superintendent Tuttle, uh, Tom and, and Dan from the Opportunity Program are up at the jail right now. We're going to be there watching this very performance, and they're going to have a chance to show you the work they've been doing, the cathartic feeling that you're going to get from watching this and inspired by them. Uh, and then at the end of the day, not only do we have tonight, but on Friday, they bring their families up. We allow family direct visitation to come into our chapel and to hear their loved ones perform for them. So this is very special. So the last piece I want to mention before I, I turn it over back to the, uh, the real stars of the show uh, is John Wayne Cormier, who's here and you've heard from tonight, and you'll be hearing him sing as well. I just want to say what John has said publicly, so this is certainly public information, but John not only served time, he served time on multiple occasions. And it was the chance when he got, as Melissa knows, when he got into the Opportunity Program, that he said he had a moment he told me about where he had an opportunity in a way, in a, a situation that developed or could have led to some violence inside the facility. But he thought to himself, I don't want to miss my chance to perform. I will not respond to this. I will step back. And he said remarkably, not only did he step back, but the next day that other person came up and apologized to him. That's the de-escalation we're talking about. Any fool can escalate a situation. It takes thoughtfulness 
and things like that to create the environment that we all want. So at the end of the day, John Cormier is a hero to me. He's here tonight, and on our very wall at the jail, we have a, a, a phrase that my pastor said in my very first benediction. And he said, may this truly be a house of correction, a place where debts to society are paid, but opportunities of redemption are provided for each and every one. And that's what we do. Thank you. And, and at the very end, and I would have read it to you, but I just didn't want to take up too much time. But if I remember correctly, it said that may those at the House of Correction who avail themselves of these programs inspire us, God, to give us your, your mercy. And that's what we're asking for, forgiveness and mercy, not only for them, but for ourselves. And that's what I get through this program. And I'm so proud and to be here tonight and to participate with you. Thank you for coming. Can't wait for the rest of the show. Thank you. Two, three, four. Thank you.
So, a little over four years ago, I was one of those homeless guys you see in the streets of Worcester. Heartless, helpless, hopeless, utterly addicted to drugs and alcohol. It was a gift of desperation that brought me under the care of Sheriff Lou. I thank God for that. From there, I ran into this beautiful opportunity. And they say that luck occurs when preparation meets opportunity. I've been preparing my whole life for this. So this is a song I wrote called Luckiest Guy. I never saw a flower Worked too hard to grow Couldn't picture living Without the world below and I'm standing in a rain cloud With two left feet It's funny and it's strange how People seem to me Every time I see her face It makes me feel young Every time she's around me Ooh, I feel dumb Every time I see her name I wanna write it in the sky Every time she's around me I'm the luckiest guy Luckiest guy There's an ocean of love Beyond that shore It's funny and it's strange She leaves me needing more I'm standing in a rain cloud With two left feet it's funny and it's strange how people seem to me. Cause every time I see her face, it makes me feel young. Every time that she's around me, ooh, I feel dumb. Every time I see her name, I want to write it in the sky. Every time she's around me, I'm the luckiest guy. Cause every time I see her face, it makes me feel young. Every time she's around me, ooh, I feel dumb. Every time I see her name, I want to write it in the sky. Every time she's around me. I'm the luckiest guy. The luckiest guy.